what's going on guys welcome back to the channel so before we get into the video I need to clear a couple things up when we went to this cemetery there was nothing but strange audio interference when I was looking back at the footage keep this in mind I'm using the same exact camera equipment setup same light same microphone same GoPro same stick to hold it all the same stuff that I used at the cemetery and I feel like every time we go to these abandoned places we start to get really weird um, audio interference or no sound at all we've had a we had the video where we went to the old ore refinery and the ha first half of the video had no sound I didn't do anything different to the camera when I push stop and record did the same exact thing I did in the second half of the video and then the rest of the video had sound perfectly fine so this was like a couple weeks later when we go to the cemetery that you're about to see and I'm just gonna let the video play you can decipher for uh, what kind of sounds you hear but I hear a lot of weird like grunts and moans and like weird sound like almost like other otherworldly things trying to talk through this garbled uh, audio you can still kind of hear what we say like as we're as I'm giving a little play-by-play -play as we're walking through but it's either the GoPro 5 has a fault in its audio recording capabilities or there's literally some paranormal activity going on when we go to some of these places and I I've reached out to GoPro I will leave the the video clip in this video so you guys can see I had a conversation with one of the representatives at GoPro and I told them basically the same thing I'm telling you guys I want to see if they can get us with a new GoPro it doesn't have to be the newest one just something a step up from this GoPro 5 to just see if maybe it still does the same thing that's what I'm curious to find out if it still does the same garbled audio that's scary dude and I think we're gonna go back to the Bullfrog Cemetery and uh, let's show you guys this video first and see if we can get GoPro to recognize what we're trying to do here we're trying to just reach out to them and see if they can help us with our audio solution because at first uh, we had a lot like in our first older videos you guys seen the audio was terrible we went and bought the external microphone, the the adapter, everything. The GoPro that we're using, we've only had, we've owned it for two years, but never used it for those first two years. We just now recently started using the GoPro when we uploaded, started uploading these YouTube videos, these randonautica and these, uh, you know, paranormal investigations. Now, my thing is, um, I've seen paranormal things happen, so I, I I believe in it, but some other people don't believe in it. That's why we're trying to do these videos. And if we can't even get proper audio recording at, you know, in the middle of nowhere in the desert, it's like, how are you going to show your viewers what we're listening to or what we're hearing if half the whole video is garbled? But that in itself is pretty uh, startling. It's pretty scary. Um, like when we were there filming it, we felt fine. We felt nice and peaceful. It was a nice, cool breeze. It wasn't really windy, so I don't see why the audio was so bad. It was terrible. It was worse than I've ever seen it on this GoPro. So... I don't know it's it's for you guys to decide whether you think it's real or not I for sure think it's some kind of paranormal activity or maybe some magnetic uh, magnetic pull at that area I don't know but this has happened like two or three times at different random locations so maybe if GoPro can send us like a test unit a, a, like I don't know maybe a prototype just a different camera that we can take to the same place and see what kind of results we get this time I don't know let's try to hit, uh, you guys gotta smash that like button you guys gotta leave some comments leave some comments down below so we can get this video hyped up so we can get GoPro's attention so they can find out what's wrong with this audio and see if they can disprove that it's not their camera equipment and you know like maybe they can send us another GoPro 5 or whatever whatever they gotta do but I wanna go back with a proper audio we have the microphone we have the light we have everything so it's I, it can't be none of that stuff like I just bought a hundred dollar microphone bought the adapter that was like another fifty dollars you know I'm just throwing money into this camera now at this point and now it's like now we're just getting terrible audio for no reason so hit that like button smash that subscribe button uh, leave a comment and we're gonna try to get this video to a thousand views a thousand likes we're, we're just trying to get this video out there because people need to see this when we go to these places it just starts doing weird audio weird glitching in the camera malfunctions it's just strange and it's not the first time people have said their equipment starts going weird but I think I'm like probably one of the first people that's even reached out to GoPro to try to like see if they can help us out so we're gonna try to get that do it get that going and uh, yeah here well, uh, enjoy the video sorry for the bad audio 
this is my conversation with GoPro about the recent ghost encounter we had. Uh, the audio got all garbled up at the cemetery, and I'm trying to see if their new cameras can successfully record at that cemetery because every time we go to some of these places, man, the camera starts bugging out, and there's no explanation why. I have all the uh, SD card, all the plugs are plugged in properly. That's why I'm making this video right now. I'm, I'm just going to uh, go through this conversation real quick so GoPro can see this. Like, this is real, bro. This is really me trying to show that your guys' cameras probably aren't as good as they say they are. It's either that or the or the ghost really, you know, mess with our audio. Explain that. So I'm curious to see if the new camera will still let us get the audio if we go back there with the newer camera, see what it's going to look like, see if it will get jumbled up again. And that would answer a lot of questions for a lot of people. That's all I'm trying to say. Look at that. Okay, you just read that. I'm just scroll through it. Do, 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 do. There. Look, the, the GoPro representative literally said, personally, I do believe in paranormal activities, and I've already experienced that. Thank you very much. And then, uh, but as of now, we will need to check if there's really an issue on the camera. Do you have the SD card adapter? Well, I'm pretty sure that there is no adapter. It's just literally, where is this damn thing? It's just literally the SD card goes inside of it. There is no adapter. So clearly this employee doesn't even know how the cameras operate. <laughs> Look, camera goes inside. There's no adapter. It's it's built into the camera. All right, so with that being said, we're going to see where this conversation is going. I'll keep you posted. I left off exactly, but then she goes on to like ask me if I have an adapter for the SD card. So I don't know if they maybe want my uh, footage or what, but the, the, the audio is really jumbled up. There's nothing else to say about it. Like, it's the same microphone I use every time on the recordings. There's no reason for it to just start garbling up at a cemetery unless there's some ghosts or something. You know what I'm saying? Unless the new cameras can successfully record the audio there without the same... Uh, interference. You know what I'm saying? There's either some kind of interference going on at that spot or the camera's really not able to cut through that whatever's happening at that place. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, we, we go on to talk about the ghost thing a little bit. Um, I say it happens at some of these abandoned places that we go to and it's happened like, this is like the third time it's done this. Keep in mind, this camera's never been dropped in water. It's never been thrown to the floor. It's never been dropped to the floor. It's always in the case. Okay, and then they're like, uh, and then I was like, the only way we could disprove this entire thing is if I filmed with a newer camera that supposedly, you know, they're the best cameras on the market for outdoor, you know, doing things, fi filming everything on the go, you know what I'm saying, for professional, you know, just your own professional footage. I just find it kind of strange that you got all these things, it wasn't even that windy outside, it wasn't windy at all really, I think it was pretty nice out, it was a nice breeze, but it wasn't windy to where the the little puffball wouldn't block any of the wind. All right, so yeah, then we go on to talk about she's, she wants to raise it to the internal team to see if they can provide a solution for this camera. So what I'm thinking they're going to do, they're going to try to take this back, send it in, they're going to do some bullshit to it, and then, yeah, we could go back and film with this thing again, but what if it does it again? Then what? You're going to just tell me, oh, well, then it's a ghost, dude. Are you going to fix my issue and maybe we can have a camera that will actually film there because the whole point of going there was to film and then the audio is all garbled up so it's like either there's really ghosts in this world and you know everything we told is a lie or it's actually you know the camera's messed up it's one of the two I didn't break the camera the camera was working this morning I tried it again and it records just fine so I will leave that in probably the same video that I'm going to upload on this whole entire topic. So if we can get enough hype around this whole entire uh, cemetery garbled sound, uh, we could probably we probably go back with the new GoPro and and hype the GoPro up if the new one's even able to record there. You get what I'm saying? Like, like I'm not going to promote it if it's not going to work again, even with the newer stuff. That just proves that ghosts are real and they don't want us filming there. You get what I'm saying? So it's a win-win for everybody on every end. GoPro gets promoted. I have another camera that's better than the one I have that's not able to work with ghost stuff. You know what I'm saying? Everybody wins. But yeah, let's see right here what they say. The, okay, so fingers crossed we can get GoPro to to sponsor this trip going back to the Bullfrog Cemetery and see if the new GoPro 
whatever or it doesn't even have to be the newest one all right gopro you guys hear this you can give me the next one up the gopro 6 whatever you got to do but if it still has the audio issue at that cemetery that's just not only is the camera faulty but it could maybe it's not faulty maybe it's the ghost thing because that's not one gopro but two gopros that both had the same interference you get what i'm saying so it just disproves a lot of things and it shows like what's really going on you get what i'm saying but yeah, let's yeah, let's get it. Let's let's get this video to like ten thousand likes. Let's get it. We're going back to bullfrog, guys. Hype it up. Let's go. Smash that like button, guys. If my microphone sounds like shit, can you please let me know? I'm trying to figure out why the microphone in the last video I made had such weird audio uh, discrepancies. I don't know what happened. The interference, whatever it was. I just find it weird that it was at a cemetery in the middle of nowhere and the audio is that bad. I don't understand it. So I'm trying to see if this recording right now sounds the same. I'm using the same exact equipment, the same exact camera. I'm trying to get to the bottom of this. This is strange. Okay. Yeah. 
that's what I'm saying. I feel like I feel like there's my my like you're not gonna see anyone out there. Like it's it's literally chill. Like, yeah. So do you still have your Google Maps? So you get this strange sense of peace almost. It's a it's an amazing breeze out here in this Nevada desert. Um we didn't get the chance to come look at this place last time. But uh, make sure you guys uh, stay close to the moon. Uh, so basically we walk, we, I mean we drive up, the, huh? Yeah, be careful, yeah, stay, stay in the middle. Alright, so last time we came, uh, when we were going up the road right now, we pretty much... What, you think so? No, I don't want to get stuck over here. You see how it's like... Yeah, but uh, I keep on using my train that because it's like kind of chilly. Should have brought my jacket, but basically... Uh, we tried to get here from the other spot, from the main, from the main road. No, I didn't. Yeah. And now I got the hatchet. <laughs> Anyways, from the main road, you can't get to the cemetery because of uh, the, the the path to get there is like gone, basically. Now I think I think this is the cemetery entrance right here. So yeah, we're literally in the middle of the there's a park bench. So I guess you can come here and like. I guess we'd lunch at the cemetery for that. That's an option, but yeah guys, look at check this out. Check this out. Look at this old this old gate guys. Careful. Yeah, I'll go first if you want. Careful but go. There's stuff that we see. I know, stay on the path. There's past to our logo that's that. You good? Mm -hmm. Alright, so when you first walk in, it's, it's, careful, don't let her go off the path. Alright, so right here, you see a grave site right here. So it looks pretty interesting how it's just so simplistic, very minimalist. Um, they, it looks like they use like, little iron rod here to make a cross. I don't know if they were buried like right underneath this or if anything like that was a thing. There's another one just laid out on the ground. Just, you know, gotta do what you gotta do if you don't got the money to. I know it's very cold out here. Be careful. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a change from the extremely hot heat of the desert. Be careful that because there's snake holes and stuff. So right here, we have two burial sites right here. I don't know why this has a why that has a number three on that, like a crime scene. That's pretty weird. Uh, I don't know if that's uh, that's like number huh? No, that's the big one. Let's let's go this way first and see what else is all over here. Careful, don't let her trip you guys out here, you guys. Alright, so, there's two, two tombstones. In here, it's, uh, Eva H. Gregory, born August 9th, 19th, 1908. Died November 19th, 1991. That, that's, where? Yeah. 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 Oh, you have to, yeah, you have to be careful, isn't That's not a black widow, that's like some hair out of... One in black widow. Is it really? Yeah, you don't want to get so. to the if you want to Yeah, that, yeah, this place is... We can't it's, just it's, 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 it's kind of sad. That's one of the reasons why I felt compelled to come here. Just to like show some respect to these people that once, you know, they were part of this historical town. Like look at this one right here. This one was probably an amazing grave site right here when we first uh, 
on the first day, whoever this was. And it's just all of them. This one, oh wow, look at that. It could be. It could very well be. Just be, be on the guide there. Like, there could be snakes anywhere. James C. Clayton, 1866-1905. And look at that. Look at that workmanship on that. It's amazing. Look, here's another one. It's so sad. Like, no one's gotten them flowers or... Like, I don't know if they're relatives even though they exist, you know, like, mm -hmm. if you think about it. No, they, they, they had to have had offspring and family still carrying the name. So See, some of these, some of these are, some of these are unmarked. Like, there's nothing there to distinguish, like, who it is. Let's go around to this phone, be careful, stay from the bushes, because we're, we're way right out here, at least. Mm -hmm. There's rattlesnakes for sure. See this one? Someone was in the, I think the Navy. Mm -hmm. Died at Bearfog, Nevada, May 4th, 1905. Wow. Daniel G. Kennedy. That's awesome. I don't know, it's like... It's it's like sad that yeah, it's like some of them don't have a name, like at least tried to make That one's pretty cool. Yeah. Like I'm sorry for the lighting guys, it's like it's just so dark. Look at that one. It's so dark you can't see you've, you got some of the brightest lights that you can buy. You can't see anything out here, it's just it's pitch yeah, black. 1876, wow, dude. Sorry, That's I'm awesome. Step this you wanna go this way? <laughs> we just wanna say we need no disrespect to anyone out here that's with us tonight. We just want to basically show other people that you guys did exist and you guys were a pivotal part of um, human advancement, pretty much. And that people shouldn't forget our past, you know, it's, it's pretty awesome. What does it say? Martha James R. Bessie L. 1885 to 1967. Wow. So they, they must have came out here and, like, retired out in Beauty, Nevada, is what I'm assuming. Yes, uh, yeah, I think, I think, and, uh, it's all gated off right here. So the spot where the main road was, it had us, like, walk all the way through here, and, like, which is completely impossible, because I guess at some point there might have been a road that connected to the actual cemetery, but now you have to go all the way around through the entrance of, uh, Riot. So let's turn on the Ian Matthew and, and see if, uh, anyone wants to basically say hi. Like I said, we, we need no disrespect to anyone that once lived here. We really just want to show people that this was once a booming town full of life and dreams and dedication. I think a lot of people need to take a... Can I go this way? Uh, yeah, see if there's any... Uh, those are just more. Yeah. Can I go see the big one again? Yeah, we can go see the big one. I can do it kind of because... Yeah, I, I kind of want to look at these ones. These are the ones that are the most forgotten. Look. Yeah. It's just red there. There's no... There's no cross there. Just stay, just stay on the main path. It's, 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 oh, it's probably a bag. It's not, it's still a show. You stepped on the bag. You don't have to go back. No, it's in my ear. But yeah, the people are buried here. You see, there's nothing on there marking it, but definitely people pass away. Yeah, there's one right here too, like, 
See, the, see, it's sad. Like some of these have. Just, I mean, it, it just shows you the nature taking over. But you know that. Look at this one right here. You got a little over the rocks. How far back does it go? Just the same thing. What about this one? This one is different. Careful. Careful for that one. I don't know if there's hair. That's, that's crazy though. That this is still here. It's like the original, the original red. Look at that. It's awesome. Look at those. Look at those nails. This is what I'm talking about. Look, look at the craftsmanship. Yeah, you can tell like, that what is like, like, like people used to actually use a hammer and nail and needed the thickest nail money could buy. Mm -hmm. And nowadays it's just uh, everything's automated and stuff. Yeah. You put all these over here that like, aren't marked. I mean, it, I think that's still nice that they still bury them. Yeah. Because like, okay. some people don't get a proper burial. You know. It's pretty peaceful. Right? It's really Like, I don't really feel bad about it, you know, like this one, this one, this one has the cross, it, it's just flat, it's not standing up, but it's there, and then this one, some of them are just like, the wood just decayed and Mother Nature took over. Like, you see how like, crazy that is? It's just like, we all have a time to go, you see this guy? Like, don't take it for granted. Because even these people had dreams at one point. Hopefully some of them accomplish, um, you know, the things they want to accomplish in life. Yeah, she, she likes to tie herself up around with the rope. Yeah, so, so uh, it, 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 it goes pretty far down, guys, like, it, it, it's just like, yeah, just more, just, just more, uh, people buried down here. It's, there's a, there, there's a lot, like, I'm kind of curious, like, you want to keep going or not? Oh, I don't mind. I mean, we drove all the way down here, now the, the... Oh, that's that snake hole. What? Right there, snake hole, careful. I know, I know that people want to watch, but I want to have some real shit for the viewers to see they're not out here just making this up like we're, 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 we're out here doing this thing like it goes literally hella deep like you have really long ago no but alright then so you can go let's go let's go to the big the big grave stone okay. like, like I said everyone that's here um, we need no disrespect we just want people to to know that this place is a thing and that it's pretty awesome th the legacy you guys left behind and I wish more uh, you know historical things weren't destroyed because we should never forget about our past because it's what shapes the future you know what I'm saying like mm -hmm. I think a lot of people don't understand like that's like, all these people are dying. Yeah. They worked hard for what they that, had. Yeah, exactly. There, there was no, like, there was no internet. There was no, you know. Like, you guys could build their own homes there. That's really hard. Like, now they have all these, like, machines and equipment. Yeah, and it's already done. You can buy it. Yeah, now you can buy it. Like, like I wish this place had more of like a, you know, like a, a remembrance, you know, like, it's just so abandoned and, and disrepair, it's like, I don't think people even know this place is here, like, like even the people that go to see Lyra, they, they don't see the sign that says there's a cemetery right there, because they're so focused on going to the ghost town or whatever, that they don't see the other stuff that's surrounding by it. You want to turn back right here so you can see this other one? Yeah. That's, uh, got the gear on it? Yeah, it's like... It just passed on. Uh, a, lot, a lot of cool places in uh, the state of Nevada to see for sure, like... Just like... Places like this, you know, like...
You got one over there? Are you getting cold? Yeah. Or is it the allergies? I think I'm getting allergies too. Yeah, I'm getting allergies too. 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 I'm very nicely made. It's made out of just rock and concrete. 98. Oil frog wallet, something. Oh, there is a thing. Hey, there it is right there, guys. This enduring bond is placed here to the blessed memory of those who sleep herein and to the remembrance of all others who came this way and opened up this great Nevada desert mining world. By those who killed, April 1959. So that's pretty cool, someone actually put that. And, 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 and right when I read that, it started to spark a lot, like... So, from my understanding, a lot of these people are in the Oh yeah, this is all, the whole city of Nevada is nothing but miners. So Riot was like a miner? Yeah, Riot, they would, uh, they would get, um, I believe it was copper oil. Hey, buddy. Is it really a dragon fire? Oh, I thought it was. Okay, that's a big ass fire. That's not, yeah, that's not. She said, oh, it's a dragon fire. I thought it was fire. It was like, it was like, it was like, it was like, So we're just walking back to the car now, guys. Uh, we didn't see anything go off. We didn't see anything too crazy. It's been spiking like yellow a little bit. But we haven't got anything crazy, any bad. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like it's... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I, I want to start doing videos like, from, uh, you know, on the day. It's cool at night, but you can't see anything. You guys can't see the, the beauty of it. You know, it's just like, oh, we're in a dark cemetery. But uh, we kind of want to see if this will go up. You know, I feel like at night, there's no one else around. There's no one else to bother you while you're trying to do this. So it just makes it, like, easier to kind of gauge what's going on, basically. No one else is going to interfere with uh, what we're trying to do. Well, that, that was awesome. That was pretty cool. It's, it's, it's awfully cool out here. I told you, it was like, but guys, we're going to uh, probably do a couple Grand Nautica locations since we're here, just to see if anything crazy happens. Oh, wow, that's that. But since we're on the way back and we're, we're kind of leaving the cemetery, uh, I'm going to just try to see if Anything wants to say about us. If there's anything out here, any spirit, apparition, anything at all, that wants to say bye to us as we leave the cemetery, make make the device go off. Make it make it spike to fifty for me. We just wanna say bye. We wanna be able to say bye to you. See, so I wasn't really getting too much, see, see how it's still in green, even though it's despite the wind and me walking. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm walking pretty heavily, but it's still in green, solid green. Mm -hmm. I was getting a lot of, like, spiking inside the actual cemetery. Like, it, it kept on going yellow in random spots. Now, the wind does take a factor in it because it, it's a spring mechanism, right? But it only goes off if it's actually moved, or, if something goes into the spring, like electro um, pulse or whatever, electric pulse. See now, I don't see anything over here. No, it's not spiking anymore. That's pretty. That, that, see that in itself, it proves that it's got to be somewhat real. Yeah. So it just spiked. Oh no, that was probably because the door opened. Yeah. But when I when we were in the cemetery just now, it kept going yellow, 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 like off and on or whatever. You good? Did something fall out? No, it's really okay. I'm here with a map. Do you want to go here? Yeah, go, go ahead and do it. You gotta do it. Um, oh, 
Alright, so we're gonna we're gonna run up the um yeah, the Monica app. And we'll probably just do a separate video. Okay, see. We'll see you guys soon. Alright guys, hopefully you were able to sit through that um garbled up noise. Uh let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. I really think it's paranormal activity. The camera that I'm using right now is the same exact camera that I'm recording that I recorded in that same clip. All those clips were the same camera. So, you know, I don't know any way to explain it except for it's interference. So unless their new cameras don't do that, or this camera is just not capable of cutting through that interference, but whatever the case may be, I want to go back. I want to show GoPro that we're down to go back. Um, you know, you guys are awesome. We're almost at 600 subscribers. That's awesome. You guys have been killing it. We really appreciate the support on the channel. So hopefully you guys like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next video.